Hey guys, what is up? It's Jaeger262 back again with another unboxing. And the reason the camera's full so far away is so I can get this whole box, it's not even the whole box yet, in the shot, just to show you how absolutely massive it is. And I got the Akai box there for comparison. So this is my first ever Master Grade and to steal a title from Trokay Reviews, who's another YouTuber who does this. Master Grade Mondays. It's my first ever Master Grade. It'll probably be my last because this thing is not only huge, but looks a little complicated to build. Now, it is Char's Custom MS-14S Gelgug. And so that means it's the 2.0 version. It's a little bit nicer, a little bit more detailed. It's not going to be like a Verka kit. But it's still got enough detail to warrant it being a Master Grade. And so while I go and get the box from over there, and take these out. I'll explain a little bit more about the MS-14 Gelgug, why I wanted this kit so much. So, the MS-14, here's some shots of the box, was one of Xeon's last mass-produced suits. It was one of the most advanced suits Xeon had built, and it came right at the end of the one-year war. Now, just like other really high-performance mass-produced suits from the end of the war, the Gelgug actually ended up going just to a few ace pilots because there just wasn't enough of them. However, it operated in the same production manner as the Dom and the Rick Dom. So there were a lot of grunt units, but they were for specialized task forces. For example, Johnny Ritten and his squad got Gelgug Super Set to protect Cassilia at Abawaku. And Annavale Gatto got Gelgugs. Colonel Von Cuspin, his, his mobile suit team all got Gelgugs, but the main grunt units did not. And so Char is, of course, the exception because none of Char's team got Gelgugs, but because he is the Red Comet, he was allowed to have one. And so he used this suit to actually monitor and train new types and look at Lala Soon, and the reason that I mention that is because you do get a Lala Soon figure and the car. I think it's from the third to last episode of the series when they do the battle on Texas, which is very cool. So the Gelgug is just a high performance suit, and it's one of the coolest looking mobile suits in my opinion. So let's just get into the box, and there is a lot to look at. It is absolutely ridiculous. First things first, you get stickers, but you also get a sheet of tri tr dry transfers under them. You can't really see it, but they're layered on top of each other. I never used dry transfers before. I stick mostly to water slide decals, so I'm interested to see how that is. But if you're going to build this kit and you don't want to use dry transfers and you're used to stickers, you do get a sheet for that. Another thing that's characteristic of Master Grades is the visor is glass and the mono eye is glass. I'm going to probably not use a sticker on the mono eye and just end up painting that a clear red. We'll see. In this sprue you get some of the feet pieces and some of the back skirt here. Now the Gelgug was supposed to be a really fast marine based suit and not marine like water but marine like the Zaku Marine, I don't know if they had one of those. The Gelgu Katamarine version was basically a super powerful grunt suit. And so it has these huge legs to be fast and compete with the Rickdom, but its body resembles that more of a Zaku to maintain that speed. And so essentially that's what you're seeing here is how big the leg armor is. And the only problem, if you're going to paint this kit, this doesn't matter. But a lot of the inner frame parts on this Gelgu, because it's 2.0, are actually just molded in the pink plastic. So this is all supposed to be gray, and everything under here is supposed to be gray. And so I'm going to paint it, so it doesn't matter, but if you're not, that's something to look out for if you want to purchase this kit. You just want to kind of get a feel for it. Some of the inner frame pieces you'll have to paint. Here's that large back skirt, and the reason this kit comes with a bigger back skirt, and it's not that it's actually bigger than other ones, it's just the way that it's designed is to have more space in it, is to fit a bunch of the custom thrusters, which they show you somewhere on the box, but I skimmed over it, so let me go back. 
So all these thrusters here would not appear on the normal Gelgoog. They did have thrusters in the back, but it wasn't a full complement of five main thrusters. That's only because it's Char Asnables. And so he, of course, gets triple the speed, triple the power to be the Red Comet. You get this massive shield, which comes in three parts. You got the blue part here. You have the backing on the sprue with the, um, it's not a beam rifle, it's just another. It's a special rifle. I want to say it's a Xeon beam rifle, but I don't believe that it is. I don't think Xeon had beam rifles at this point. But you get a backing, that, and then, of course, the outside of the shield. All molded, very nice and looking very good. You get two saber effects. You get the curved scimitar blades from the show and from when Char spinning it. But if you don't like that look, they also give you two fully extended saber blades. Now I've seen it somewhere where people said that these are effect blades for this and so this should only be when it's spinning and this is what it's supposed to look like. But if you go back and watch the original anime, when Char has its static and he's just standing there with it, it's still the same scimitar shape. So I don't know if they're supposed to be moving effect parts or just normal. Doesn't matter. You get two sets. You can do whatever you want with them. And then right here, you can see the figure of Lala soon. And then just the part count is ridiculous. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six runners. Massive polycaps. Which is different. Most master grades you'll see today. This one came out in, I think, 2006. Or 2008. Yeah, 2000. Right in between those two years, actually. 2007. So it still uses polycaps. Not as much as high grades do, but you still have a whole sprue for it. And they're huge. And that's going to be something I keep saying throughout this kit. I've never built a master grade. I've never seen one in person. And I really underestimated how much bigger... The 1 100th scale was. You get two sprues for E, which builds up the legs. Or, yeah, the feet and the legs, thigh armor. You get a D sprue, which has the arm and the helmet pieces, but you also get the arm and helmet. They're not. Hold on, let me check. No, that's it. So the two E screws give you some of the arm armor. These are just for the helmet, the hands, and the shoulders. Or not the shoulders, sorry, the forearms. And then of course you get the inner frame. Now, skipping straight ahead to these pieces, for the back skirt and the front of the skirts, these are all molded in gray. So the pieces I'm showing you are just on the leg. If you wanted to take the leg armor off, you can explode the view. And if you see right here, these are the thrusters that you'll be using in those pieces. If you want to take the armor off, I don't know if I do yet. But everything else on the leg is molded in gray. And the inner frame for the skirt is completely molded in gray. So don't let that, don't worry about that. That's fine. You do get it. Then you get, I think, three F sprues. Now, two F sprues to build up the legs and the inner frame of the arms, and then two J sprues to build up all the engines, and there are a lot of thrusters in here. Just a crazy, crazy amount. I'm running out of room on my desk. And then lastly, you get the actual main frame. You get the chest pieces here, and you have a cockpit where Char sits. I'm not really seeing where that is. Oh, I'll have to go through and look at it. Oh, it's in two halves. So here's the hinge here. And then on the second half, there's nothing. That's where the door will go. And because this is a master grade, all the fingers are articulate. I've never built a hand like this before. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. But here are all the fingers. So unlike high grades, which have the adjustable hands in it, or yeah, adjustable hands, you get three or four sets, depending on how good the high grade is. Here, you just get one hand, and it's able to move on its own, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you get the inner frame on the head, where the mono eye will sit. And that's about it, except for the manual, which is super cool. Just like I did with my real grade Zagok, I hadn't seen... 
a booklet like this. It gives you the whole history of the Gelgoog here, the different Gelgoog types, the Gelgoog C, which is the cannon, A, normal, B, which is, I think the marine, is the B, and then the Gelgoog S, which is, of course, the space type. And just where it sits in Xeon's developmental tree comes from the high mobility MS-06R, goes into the Gelgoog. And you get a little bit of detail on weapons, thrusters. Nothing I can read because this is before they started translating things. But it's very cool. It gives you in-depth details. You get a few 3D shots of the parts. How everything goes together. And then right in the middle is the whole history of the Galgoog. <coughs> Excuse me. With a fully painted and built up version showing all the insides. You get full color callouts if you're like me and you're going to paint it. So just a very thorough instruction booklet, not something I expected from Bandai, but again, I've never built a real grade or a master grade before. So it's pretty amazing. Again, tells you where to put all the decals. And you get a fold out section here to build the weapons and the shield. And other than that, you just get a picture of their model built up and how it looks for them and what you can try to do with it i don't know how i'm gonna paint this yet i do know that i'm just gonna do it as chars if i want another one i'll buy another one but these are usually hard to find i was lucky enough to find one for just 50 bucks here at my local hobby store online they're going for about 60 dollars now because everyone else is sold out of them so I'll do a full review once I build it. I'm going to do a build series on it. So stay tuned for those videos. And I'll let you know if I think you should purchase it or not. Um, but it's a pretty rare kit at this point. I hope they make a 3.0 Galgoog, but I doubt it. Or they redo the high grade because that's where you got a lot of the different versions. You got the Galgoog Jaeger, Marine, Char's Galgoog. Just a lot. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned for those videos and thank you so much for watching this. Please throw up a like if you enjoyed it or subscribe to this channel if you want to see the other Galgoog videos or any updates on this build. And thank you so much. See you next time.